Good afternoon folks, welcome to bring another video. This time here we are going to be doing a review of the Lorraine 40T. Of course we'll be showing you the stats and then we'll be showing you some live gameplay. So sit back, relax and of course enjoy the show. And thank you for viewing this video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon above, and then of course hitting the bell icon to get notifications when the next video drops. So here we go. It's time to look at the numbers and everything else that, of course, for the Lorraine 40T. Now we put it up against the Bajetto, the T44100, and of course the Lansing. Now, again, these other ones are considered powerful tanks, and the Lorraine has been in the game for a good long time. So a lot of people probably either have this tank, don't have it, or don't even know what it's about. So again, we wanna go over this a little bit. Okay, now, DPM wise, it falls flat on his face compared to all the others because again, this is a true auto loader, whereas the other one is one is a reloader and the other one has normal guns. Now, what what makes the the Lorraine really different is that again, now the gameplay you're going to see coming up. I don't have any gold loader because again, this is my first impressions. That's how I always do it. But look at the penetration. 232. Again, the, this was one of the original tanks that had over 230 in actual penetration. They got away got away from that for a long period of time when they started putting Vegetto in, the Lansing, everything else by lower tearing. Then they started putting that back in, which is you know the CS and everything else like that. And the um object two of um two seven two seven four A. So they're getting back to having high penetration. So one thing it has then damage per shot 300 damage per shot again still both one of the better ones uh, with the exception of the lansing um rate of fire it's weird the court kind of falls down there because again it's really the clip reload time which is 35 seconds now your clip size is four for a total damage of 1000 200. Now again, the Vegetto is up there and everything else to that, but even with its clip size and everything else to that, you know, of three, it's not going to do the percentage of damage as of the Lorraine. So Lorraine can basically, you know, flat out kill a a, 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 a t tank where the Vegetto is going to take a little bit of time. So Lorraine catches you out there and everything else to that, and you're below that threshold, you can get dealt really fast. Now enter clip reload, 2.5 seconds to me, it's, again, for my personal takes, it's always on a long side for me, but long as it's, I mean, it's like the maximum I feel comfortable with everything else of that, so again, it's good. Caliber gun is 100. Shell velocity is just, uh, and again, standing rounds, 1,000 shell velocity makes it so you can lead targets and basically do some really good damage and everything else that. Clip size, I mean, the ammo capacity is, kind of on the low side and everything else so your potential damage is still higher than two of the other ones in the list but of course not as good as the lensing okay so let's look at the gun handling now the overall gun handling again compared to the Bajetto, compared to the 44 100 compared to lansing is not great i'll be the first to say it but for what it is a lot older with um two point i'm sorry three point um 36 um and on the move shot of 0.19 that's still not not bad not bad at all for you know an auto load and everything else that so again your gun the impression of eight is still really good elevation of 15 is so so sometimes you can have a problem you, uh, in one of the play games i was playing later on a little bit that came into play but not in the video you're going to see now this is where it starts to shine a bit Forward speed 60, again, it's the fastest in the bunch when it comes to a forward speed, but the reverse speed, when you need to get your shots up and you need to get the hell up out of there. That extra, you know, that 23, again, is only, it's the same as T4400. That, that reverse speed is just, oof, again, it gets you out of trouble so many different times. Engine power, okay, it's all right. Power to ratio, power to weight ratio, again, it's still high. It's low on the low side compared to some of the other tanks that's in this in this comparison. But still, to, um, 21 um, power to weight. 
not bad not bad at all to rain resistance again is not as good as some of the other tanks it's still better than lansing but not as good as some of the other tanks again transverse feet the same so all the numbers here you'll see that are, it's basically in the middle when it comes to the performance wise but again this is lorraine has been around a long time so basically this was the gold standard and everything else came afterwards all right armor 40 45 you know again everybody has a better armor scheme than this tank does and everything else that health wise they all have better health than this tank does engine um track and everything else and again come off a little bit better when it comes to armor now camel value camel value is again in the middle now everything you see here is like okay well it's in the middle this must be not really a good tank it must be just piddling average and then you come to actually when you do the gameplay it sets you for a loop and the reason why it sets you for the loop is because the all important that damage that penetration makes it so that you don't have to sit there and you worry about always using gold and most of the time again you will see me clip out lower health targets because of the 300 damage and basically get these guys out the door now of course we're going to look at the armor we always look at the armor, armor for this so tank now second. again it's firing against itself you know most things are going to shoot through this there is a section right here that you can get some you know crazy ricochets when it comes to raw on the neck area but most times everything else that if this thing gets shot it's going to feel it it's not going to be sitting there saying well i can bounce around and no you're not going to be bouncing rounds this tank is basically you come you either a you can shoot from distance or b you come around to people assassinate them and run away on my eu account because i don't have a gold tank that's any good so yeah so I'm gonna wait till the next sale going around. Actually, I might pick up if the guard is available for gold. I might pick that up. Uh, I got to pick something up that's you know that you can pick up for gold. Unfortunately, you know. All right. So again, uh, hopefully everybody has had a great day. In my case, everything has not been Jake around here. My wife's hours at work has basically been decimated. She just found out today that well, she'll only be working two days a week now which sucks you know ain't nothing you can do but it COVID is COVID is effing up the works you know so it's cool it's Barask where are you see the problem is that Barask is going to sit right over there and he's going to F, F the world up and then there he is I know I should have been a little bit further. Oh crap. I know I should have been a little bit further up when I shot. I'm actually gonna go for the reload early. Get unspotted again while I can. Yep, there is the bat shot. Oops. So no more drama lately, Zoe. Again, hopefully you've had a, a pretty much a very relaxing Christmas, and no more of the craziness. You know that that'd be nice that you you're, you know, you've been not been harassed with craziness, and over the Christmas break has been fairly re relaxed and remote. That would be great for you. I feel I should move. You know what? Actually, I am. I'm gonna pull back. Okay, let's see how fast I'm actually gonna go on level ground. 52, okay, 52 is not bad. 56, excuse me. And even going uphill, I drop back a little bit, but not by much. So that's not bad at all. Okay, now that's where I wanted to be at. Okay, oof. Well, he got nuked out of existence. Can I get the other guy? No. Scorpion's moving up. I'm going to try to get the bush over here so let's see if I can cover these guys. Knock this bush down, hopefully, and... Oh, Scorpion, where are you? I know you're right about here. Come on, crash that ridge right about there. 
so having the its primary aim sucks but it looks a little bit better with my setup at least currently so yeah um we're holding our own so far um may, well maybe not oh so again you know covid crap going on slide is just making my life more difficult than it already needs to be of course you know because of course the wife's not happy and when she's not happy she's Yep, I knew you was going to be there. Nope, I got to reload. I figure I can get more shots on this guy here, but he's not going to peek right away. So I got to sit there and wait until... And they kill that guy right there, and it's like it's all Gucci. 15 seconds. Of course, this is a game in progress again. The tank for me feels very comfortable because I'm used to auto loaders. Um, I feel to, to me it feels better than the Bajetto. Um, now again, I know people will disagree with me, but that's just my feelings on it. Because he stayed there way too long, and I was literally waiting on him, so I was waiting on that. Oh damn it! Why did he crest? Why did he go over? I, I don't understand that move. Just relaxing right here, waiting for the Centurion, because Centurion is going to come. And at least, yeah, hopefully, he gets spotted soon, so as I can, you know, put some shots into him. Oh, there he is. Nope, 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 right there. Okay. Mm, my fault, I missed that shot. And I got to wait for him to pull a little bit more forward. Just aim right here. Oh, shit. And I'm on the reload crap. See, that's why I like this. Um, again, the, the French auto loaders for some reason work well for me. You know, <laughs> it's like, okay. Still got 20 seconds left and everything else. And the reload is not that long. Again, it's, uh, if, considering if you're playing the AMX 5100, that reload is even longer. So, yeah. You play this right, you go oh, Gucci and everything else that. Now I know the Bros is gonna get spotted over here. I'm actually waiting for the Centurion. No, that's still, um, oh, no, there he is. And you're toast. Oh, I'm gonna reload. They're probably gonna be dead before I even get over there and everything else like that because again they're gonna run. Renegade's gonna push them and everything else like that. Oh, he's he got ran into. So, you know, two two K being cautious, two kills. Yo, know, it's a French auto loader. French auto loaders seem to just do very well. They don't, you know. They don't go for get basically destroyed like most other tanks and so that. So I can always recommend the French auto loaders, you know. And we're gonna try to come over and get a little bit more. And we got a little bit more meat on the bone. Cool. So again, you know, only thing I can say is like that French auto loaders are basically my first impression of this is like that. It's always a good buy. <laughs> so it, you know, uh, I'm going to have um, a the one coming up for the SM. I'm not sure if, how which order is going to come out. I don't know if the this one's to come, going to come out first, or the the SM is going to come out first. Both of them are French auto loaders. You know, again, me coming from playing the 5100, both of these are better than the 54 uh, 5100 easily. You know, and again, just off the top of my head. You know, if this comes up for you to buy, just buy it. You you won't be disappointed. And again, this is me playing. I only got no gold rounds loaded. I don't have, um, you know, food. I'm using vents, using um, stabilizer, and using rotation mechanic. And I'm using both of these basically to, 
you know, when I move, because you can see the bloom goes up a little bit, but when it's, you know, when you're just moving it from just a little bit to a little bit to try to get that, you know, if they shift back and forth, it makes it a lot easier to actually, you know, put shots into these guys while basically saying your bloom goes to hell. So, you know, I mean, to me, this is a perfect tank for a person that's going to buy a tank. It's like that, you know, if it's your first tank, you would always say go defender because again that's brain dead you know anybody can play it but if you got any want to learn a look skill and learn how to play the game and play it well this one's a good tank for you again this is my first review of it and everything else that my first impressions but we'll come back to it again again you know once i get to learn it myself i can take it into battle and go all in so that's my thoughts on it hopefully you guys enjoyed this of course we surely appreciate it well guys thank you for watching please hit the like subscribe button it really helps the channel out until then this is warp out saying have fun catch you later